Hello everyone, I'm Rob from American Hard Bay. Today, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the Rockford Fosgate DSR-1 sound processor. The DSR-1 is currently the very best solution for keeping your factory Harley-Davidson radio in play when adding aftermarket speakers and amplifiers. Most everything that I will be talking about in this video does apply to other types of applications, but is primarily intended for Harley-Davidson users. The DSR-1 really is a simple device. A lot of people get intimidated by the DSR-1 because they think that it's some sort of complicated or mysterious black box. Well, it is a black box, but let me assure you that there is nothing complicated or mysterious about it. The DSR-1 is simply an equalizer and a crossover bundled into one unit. The connections are simple, and the app that you use to configure it is even more simple. So let me show you around the app. When you first launch the Perfect Tune app, you are presented with a home screen. The home screen has a master volume in the center, and if you tap the left and right arrows on either side, you can scroll to see sub-level and punch EQ level controls. For our purposes, the master volume control should always be turned all of the way up. The sub-level control is self-explanatory, and the punch EQ should never be used in a motorcycle application. So always keep the punch EQ at 0 dB. At the top left of the screen, there's a button for toggling the input between main, which is your radio, and an auxiliary device. For Harley systems, we only want to use the main input. And at the top right of the screen, there's a mute button. At the bottom of the screen, you'll find the three buttons that we're going to be using the most. In the center is a Bluetooth connection button. The Bluetooth connection is done here using the app, and it's never done in your phone settings. Tap the button, and you're taken to the connection screen. Notice the home icon at the top of the screen. This icon is available on all screens in the app. Tapping the icon will always return you to the home screen. Now for this video, we're going to go ahead and ignore the setup button on the left. This is where the installation settings are made for the DSR-1. Check out our DSR-1 setup video for more information on that. And if you purchase your DSR-1 from American Hardbag, we ship all DSR-1s already pre-programmed for 90% of the bikes out there. Now we're getting to the interesting stuff. Tap on the tune button on the right. This will present you with the choice of basic tune or advanced tune. Basic tune gives you just a seven band equalizer and no crossovers. This is the best option for you if you are a novice user. It gives you nice tone adjustments that are simple to use, but it does not have some of the more advanced and complex features for you to mess up. The EQ in basic tune is just like the old school graphic equalizers us old guys used to have back in the day. The low frequency tone adjustments are on the left and the high frequency tone adjustments are on the right. It's just like simple bass and treble controls, but Rockford went ahead and threw in a few more extra points of adjustment in between. When using the tone controls in the basic tune, all channels and speakers are affected at the same time by the adjustments that you make. Now let's tap the home icon and check out the advanced tune. In the advanced tune, we have a similar looking equalizer, but there are some differences. First of all, the equalizer now has 31 bands of adjustment. Additionally, the equalizer that you are presented with is dedicated to just one pair of channels, for example, the front speakers. Other speakers in the system will not be affected by changes that you make here. Tapping the speaker icon at the top right of the page will bring you to a screen that allows you to select the equalizer for the speakers that you would like to adjust. Simply tap on the speakers that you want to select. Notice the link icon in between the speakers. You can opt to separate left and right speakers from one another for even more adjustment. In a motorcycle application, however, this is never needed. Beyond the 31 bands of adjustment in the Advanced Tune EQ, the equalizer is also a full parametric type. This is why at the top you will also find Q and frequency adjustments as well as gain adjustment. This is only for advanced users. You can find more information on this topic of parametric equalizers at www.americanhardbag.com in our installation article section. I also plan on releasing a video dedicated to this topic soon. Now take a look at the tabs at the bottom of the screen. The advanced tune area is divided into four separate sections, EQ, crossover, time alignment, and trim levels. The crossover selection allows you to make your crossover adjustments within the app instead of the dials and switches on your amplifiers. This is really convenient because you can make adjustments after the bike is all put back together and never have to remove a fairing to make changes. Additionally, the frequency settings for the crossovers are much more accurate and flexible than the crossovers that you will find built into any amplifier. Take note that the crossover settings shown are only for one pair of channels. Just like the advanced EQ, you must select the speaker channels 
you want to adjust by tapping the speaker icon at the top of the screen. The time alignment section of the DSR-1 is geared towards car audio and not motorcycle applications, but it does contain one spectacular feature that I use on each and every installation that I do. The phase inverter feature allows you to reverse the signal polarity of each individual channel. This is the equivalent of disconnecting a speaker and wiring it with the positive and negative connections in reverse. The reason why this is so important is a topic all of its own that I'll need to make a separate video for. But for now, you can go to our website and find an article called DSR-1 Practical Phase and Time Alignment Tricks and read all about it. This is a great way of discovering untapped performance and potential in most any Harley audio system. Trim Level is a feature that allows you to reduce the gain or mute any single channel. This is a very useful feature during installation when you might need to silence some speakers in order to listen to other speakers during setup. Once the bike has been put back together, the trim levels can also be used to fine tune the gains of the entire system. All trim levels should always be turned all of the way up unless you have a specific reason that that channel needs to be turned down. One last piece of information that I'd like to add about the DSR-1 is that the basic tune and the advanced tune sections can also work one on top of another. For example, a professional installer can make all of the adjustments in the advanced tune section and then leave the basic tune for the customer to play with. This way the end user gets the benefits of the professional tune and still has the ability to personalize the sound without messing anything up. Due to all of the variables involved on a bike like helmet type, pipes, and traffic, it's perfectly reasonable for a guy to want to make some adjustments even after the system has been properly tuned. Be sure to check out AmericanHardBag.com for all of the information, installation parts, speakers, and amplifiers that you need for your next Ultimate Bagger system.